Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we'll be looking at Alan's talent encouragement exam called Talentix. And in this video, we'll be looking at grade 8 sample paper which includes all the subjects that will be asked in Talentix. So, let's begin, shall we? This is the first question. Consider a container filled with water. Choose the correct option showing the correct relation of pressures at points A, B, C and D. Points B and C are at the same horizontal level. So, we have a container filled with water and we have four points A, B, C and D. We have to calculate each of their pressures and find which of, which of them is greater, which of them is less and which of them are equal. So, the formula to finding pressure is rho g h. Now, this means that rho represents the density of the liquid and in this case it's water and G represents acceleration by gravity and H represents the depth now if we checked all of the uh, check all of these points we can see they have they have uh, they are in the same liquid so their density is the same uh, they are the same position means uh, same position in the earth so their acceleration by gravity is also the same so that means the difference of A, B, C and D in their pressures can be calculated by their depth so if the, uh, the depth is more their pressure is more if the depth is less their pressure is less so if we check the depths we can see that point A has the lowest depth so that means point A has the lowest pressure of the hole and if we check points B and C it is given in the question that points B and C are at the same horizontal level so that means their depths are equal so they will have the same pressure and uh, considering the depth of D with uh, compared to others it would have the greatest pressure of A, B, C and D so let's look at, look at the options in option 1 we can see that uh, it is given that all the pressures are equal which is wrong since we have already found out that if the depth is less the pressure is less now if we look at option 4 we can see that they are saying a is a is equal to b c is equal to d and b is less than c this is totally opposite of what we have done a and a is uh, has lower pressure than b b, uh, b and c are equal and uh, d has higher pressure than c so option 4 is also incorrect now if we look at option 3 it says uh, pressure D is less than pressure B and pressure C is less than pressure A and pressure B and C are equal now if we check pressure D and pressure B we can see that uh, the pressure of point D is greater than pressure of point B because it has a greater depth so that means option 3 is incorrect and option if we also take the other part of option 3 uh, we can see that uh, pressure C is greater than pressure A so that means this uh, the whole option is incorrect the correct option is option 2 point pressure pressure at point A is less than pressure at point B 
uh, pressure at point B is equal to pressure at point C and pressure at point C is less than pressure at point D. So this is the next question. Select the correct set of organisms which show external fertilization. Option 1. Human, Todd, Frog, Fish. 2. Cow, Dog, Hen, Todd. Option 3. Fish, Starfish, Frog, Todd. Option 4. Human, Cow, Dog, Hen. So, let's... Uh, external fertilization is one of the types of fertilization. So, fertilization is divided into two types. Internal and external fertilization. Now, internal fertilization refers to the fusion of gametes within the body of the female. And external fertilization is the union of gametes in an external environment. So internal means the ver uh, the egg is fertilized inside the bo uh, uh, organism, while external means the egg is fertilized outside the organism. So if we look at the options, in option one we have uh, one of the organisms as human. Now, h humans uh, perform internal fertilization and uh, uh, don't uh, do external fertilization. So that means option one is incorrect. And if we look at option four, they also it also has human as one of its organisms. So it is also incorrect. Now, if we look at option two, we can see toad is the only organism. Out of all of these, which shows uh, external fertilization, others such as cow, dog, and hen perform internal fertilization. So that means option two is also incorrect. So option three, fish, starfish, frog, and toad is the correct answer. Fish perform uh, external fertilization. Starfish performs external fertilization. Frog and toad also perform external fertilization. So that means the correct uh, answer for this question is option 3. Now, this is the next question on chemistry. Which of the following is correct? Option 1. Kerosene is used as an insecticide. Option 2. Lubricant Cating oil is used as a solvent for dry cleaning. Option 3, bitumen is used as cooking, cooking fuel. And option 4, grease is used for road surfacing. So, let's look at all of the options and identify which of them is correct. Now, option 4 says grease is used for road surfacing. Now, for road surfacing, the properties of a substance used should be it is that it should be easy to produce and can be reused. Now grease does, uh, does not uh, follow these properties so this is incorrect. So instead of grease the substance by, must have been bitumen since bitumen is easy, easy to produce and can be reused and is also suitable for road surfacing. Now, let's look at option 3. Option 3 says bitumen is used as cooking fuel. Now, there are many substances which can be used as a cooking fuel, but bitumen is not one of them. The uh, things which can be used is wood, coal, dung, and many other resources. So, option 3 bitumen is used as cooking fuel is incorrect. Now, option 2. Lubricating oil is used as a solvent for dry cleaning. Now, if uh, something should be used as a solvent, which means uh, mixed for, for dry cleaning, it should, be, uh, it should be able to remove 
the stains on a dress now lubricating oil just removes the friction and it does not uh, it does not uh, it cannot remove stains from a dress so this is incorrect instead of lubricating oil that should have been petrol since it is used to uh, remove the stains of a cloth in dry cleaning so the correct option is option one kerosene is used as an insecticide Say, uh, since kerosene has been seen to kill insects uh, so that's why they uh, they have been used as an insecticide so option one is the correct answer for this question next question on mathematics the pie chart given below shows the production of steel by five different companies a b c d e in 2001 the difference of the central angles represented by a and c is option 1 18 degrees option 2 42 degrees option, option 3 46 degrees and option 4 36 degrees now this is the pie chart that shows the production of steel by five different companies so and we uh, we have given uh, the percentage uh, of steel compa compared to each of them and we have to find the central angle of company A and company C and we have to find their difference now to find this uh, central angle we have to multiply the percentage by 360 so for uh, the central angle of production of steel of A is 22% which is 22 divided by 100 into 360 we can do uh, the calculations right now or we can leave it for later as they may have something in common uh, if we calculate the central angle of C now central angle of C is 12 divided by 100 into 360 now if we have to find the difference of the central angles we get 22 by 100 into 360 bracket minus 12 by 100 into 360 now we can take out a common term uh, that is both of them are being multiplied by 360 so that means we can take out 360 and uh, the difference will become 360 into 22 minus 12 divided by 100 which is basically 360 into 10 divided by 100 now if we cancel all the zeros we get the difference between the central a, uh, central angle A and central angle C is 36 degrees which is option 4 the other all options does not uh, we, we will not get these if we uh, calculate it so option 4 36 degrees is the correct answer for this question now last question of this set which is from social studies match the following columns we have column 1 and column 2 and in column 1 we have rainforests, water, coal in rural region of Germany and uranium found in Ladakh and in column 2 we have actual resources, potential resources, biotic resources and abiotic resources and we have uh, some options which, which are matching uh, uh, column 1 with column 2 so if we have to find the matching we have to first understand what the terms in column 2 are now actual resources are resources which are being used to their full capa capacity so that means we have understood their value and we have we are currently using them at uh, for uh, full potential so that means uh, uh, actual resources are being used very uh, much S and if we look at the definition of potential resources uh, resources which have use and can be used uh, these resources can be used 
in the future since they have value but uh, we have fa which is uh, specific to a region uh, but they uh, are not being used to their capacity at the moment and next we have biotic resources which is basically living resources and abiotic resources are non-living resources now we can match each of them or we can just uh, match each one of them uh, only one of them uh, so f for example if you didn't know the definitions of actual resources or potential resources then you could have just look at option 3 biotic resources and you know its definition it's a living thing in uh, in column 1 the only uh, living thing out of co uh, column 1 is rainforests and you could have matched rainforest with biotic resources so A would be matched to 3 and if we check the options option 1 option 2 option 3 doesn't have a as 3 and all only option 4 has a as 3 so it would be the correct answer now we we, we should also check the other options since we may uh, the options may not be uh, just one of them in some questions so if we look at actual resources the things which are being used to the full capacity we can say coal in the rural region of Germany is uh, su uh, uh, it suits this definition because coal is used in every every day by petroleum. So this means that they are being used to their full capacity. So they are an actual resource. So C is one, and option B water. Uh, water is a non-living resource so that means water is an abiotic resource so option B can be matched with option 4 and an option uh, D uh, I mean uh, column 1 D says uranium is found in Lad uh, Ladakh the, uh, the uranium found in Ladakh uh, they are not currently being used to their full capacity uh, but they have uh, potential and can be used in the future so these are potential resources and option D matches with 2 so option 4 supports all of these so option 4 is the correct answer for this question that's all folks we hope you found it interesting for more useful videos please subscribe to our channel brain blitz audios until the next episode take care stay safe bye bye for now